It's not exactly what I was expecting, but boy, do I love it. <sighs> hey, what's up? My name is Cade, and today I'm reviewing the New York Toy Collective Jack Sleeve. I literally have been wanting this since I saw it come out because in my head, I was expecting it to be like a packer that I could wear and put my tea dick in there and it'd be like almost an extension of my body. It didn't exactly end up being that way, but I still really like it. Thank you so much to Early to Bed for sending me this packer so I could give you an honest review. I will link this below. Every single time you use my discount code, it helps support me and support the channel to continue to grow. This packer was made by New York Toy Collective and I've actually reviewed a few of their products in the past. Out of all the New York Toy Collective products that I've reviewed so far, this is my absolute favorite. This is a two-in-one packer, let me explain. Of course, there's the packing aspect to it and you can wear it in a few different types of underwear. Later, I'll recommend my favorite type of underwear to actually use this with. The second way is this is actually a pleasure sleeve slash jack-off sleeve. In the front, of course, it is a nice little packer, but as you turn it around, Ooh, look at that nice hole. Ooh. So basically you're able to put your own anatomy in there and you can see the delicious ridges that go in. After I talk about my experience with packing, I'll also go into my experience with just using this as a jack off sleeve. So just for using this as a packer, I think this is an amazing choice if you wanna go for a smaller bulge. Because personally, I am actually only 5'5", if you didn't already know that. And I don't wanna have like this huge, bulge going on. I actually kind of, like kind of get self-conscious whenever I do pack with something that gives me a larger bulge. So going with something that's like a lot smaller makes me feel a lot more comfortable. It is a smaller packer, but it is also a lightweight packer because as I was showing you earlier, the inside of the dick is actually completely hollow. Like literally tell almost the very tip, it is just, really on there. I've had a few packers that are a lot more heavy, like the Real Magic 2.5 inch, I'll review that soon. So the lighter weight ones are definitely the ones that I prefer. Like I said earlier, it's not exactly what I was expecting when I saw this on the website, because originally when I saw this, I was hoping that I would just be able to just like, this is, pretend like this is my tea dick, just slip it on, and then I'd be able to like walk around and I could just like, it basically just feel like a complete extension of my body. When I pack, there's still like that disconnect for the most part. As soon as I like brush against my pants, I'm like, it's not really mine. The only way that I found that actually allows this to be able to stay attached to my T-Dick is when I'm wearing this jock strap. If you want to check out my full review of this jock strap specifically, you can check that out above. If anything, it's more about like the angle of how the jock strap is and how it is attached to my T-Dick. But if I'm just trying to pack, I think it looks really nice in some boxer briefs as well as just some like briefs. Let me be honest with you, out of every single packer that I have tried so far, this packer makes me feel like most connected, makes me feel most like this is my actual dick than any of the other ones that I've tried so far. I think the biggest part for me is when I'm actually slipping it on, I feel like whenever I am, you know, spooning a partner or someone that I'm playing with, or um, if I were to go out dancing, I mean, that's gonna probably be a while from now, but like any type of movement or friction that it's actually like pressure against it, it really does feel like almost like it's an actual extension of myself. And that honestly does feel amazing. And whenever I get bottom dysphoria, especially like around like the touch, I really like to slip this on. But keep in mind though, Originally, I thought that it'd be able to just like slip on for a long time and there'd be no issues. Well, I've tried this a few different ways, whether it be without lube or with only water-based lube, just keep that in mind. It doesn't feel very great if you do try and slip this on without any lube, especially if you're gonna wear it for a longer period. I personally recommend if you're gonna just like pack with this and as like almost an extension of your body, 
Like, don't do it for more than like an hour. Like, give your dick a break, at least if you are on the larger side. Cause personally for me, so it felt like my D was like, like realistically, my D was just like suffocating on this. So doing it for longer than like, honestly, even like 30 minutes felt like it started to be uncomfortable. Let me know in the comments below if you also experience like bottom dysphoria, specifically around like touch and pressure. Speaking of that pressure, that actually brings me to the sleeve slash stroker part of this two-in-one. One way that I tend to go to because I like more of the like back and forth motion is I put some lube in there. You can just put your T-dick like slightly inside even if you're on the smaller side, just ooh, uh. And as you're going, um, I personally turn it this way as the sleeve, even though it's like technically upside down when I jerk off in like a back and forth motion, because personally I don't like the feeling of like the balls constantly slapping against me. Another way that you can actually give yourself pleasure through doing this, which I totally recommend if you have more bottom dysphoria and you wanna actually like look down, is put your tea junk inside, get some loop. As you have it on you, almost like squeeze it like this. So you're able to almost like connect that a lot easier instead of it like going back and forth it's almost like a lot more of an extension of you in a sexual way it literally seems like the ridges go on forever <laughs> the nice part about this one is since it does have a smaller hole compared to some of the other ones that just have ridges and it is a like not open-ended toy it allows um that like suction to happen if you are interested in checking out any of my other sleeve slash stroker reviews, you can check out a full playlist right here. And if you're wanting to see any of my other reviews and I review quite a few different packers, you can check that out right here. Ooh, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace. Mm -hmm.